Charlie said, hey, man, you ought to move to New York. This is going to be the largest scene, the largest collection of musicians, poets, painters, artists in history. It's going to be called Soho. You can imagine my first impression of Soho. There were a lot of musicians and dancers and uh, poets and all kinds of things like that in the neighborhood at that time. And it made it a really exciting place. It was just the beginning of an incredible journey. The whole idea of collaboration just got more and more redefined and redefined, bringing in whole new elements of what was going on at that time in that place. start talking about uh, multi-anything, you're you already talking about some kind of compromise. But the musicians came to New York and had to work not only with one another, but the established people here had to learn how to get their language down. So it was a, it was a matter of bridging a lot of gaps, communication gaps. That had to be forged. There were all these people from all over the world who came together and accepted the fact that they were different from each other but they were the same as each other. Your best friends were from everywhere, yeah. and they were your best friends. And you learned, uh, you learned a lot about accepting other people and therefore accepting yourself. Voila. Every one of these gentlemen, every one of them I adore. My position was that art simply prods you into action. It caused a tremendous amount of consternation in the community. But this movement, after I came out of a political crucible, this movement helped me to analyze the anger, the conflict, the contradictions, and the madness. You get the music now and it's already done on the computer and stuff. It doesn't have that feeling, that body, no, that when I listen to it, that soul, that when I listen to it, um, and I grew up with it, that I could tell, oh, he's playing, oh, he's playing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, who the hell is playing? <laughs> All it is that all of these people up here, they want a different level of what was going on. But, they, but, they, but the ambition was to move beyond the circumstances that many people found themselves in at that time. Behind all art, there is thought. And usually it can be transferred from one form to another. In other words, if you understand the thinking of perspective in painting, it also translates to music. But what it really is, is about striving to reach the level that you reach when you're creating, striving to reach that level in the other part of your life. Right. That's the, you know, I, I said, you know, as long as I got my bass, I'm cool. When I put my bass down, I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs>